is the drummer from the Mangs. Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here doing another Marvel Legends figure review on the 2016 Spider-Man Wave slash Absorbing Man Build-A-Figure Wave Venom. If you're trying to pick up this figure, you can do so now at Biggity Big, 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 Big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. I'm very excited for this figure. It has been a long time since we've gotten a new Marvel Legends Venom. I'm really stoked about this. You can see the Absorbing Man Build-A-Figure pieces right in there and the interchangeable Venom head. So wow, that's a lot of head. On the side, you can see a cool picture of Venom right over there. And then on the back, you can see a great photograph of the figure itself. Then there's a read-up. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it now. And then here's all the figures from the wave. And then we get the same image on the other side over there. Nice spider logo right there. All right, let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's Venom out of the packaging. A very cool figure. Not my new favorite Venom figure. I'm sorry to say. I wish I liked the figure a little bit more. I do think this is a very good figure. Of course, we're seeing the re used Hyperion body mold. Uh, as I had mentioned in my Spider-Gwen review though, there are a number of figures in this wave that have the huge head syndrome and this guy is no exception to that. He's got a big old noggin. So that's my biggest complaint with this figure. Otherwise, pretty cool piece. So let's take a closer look at the accessories and then we'll take a closer look at Venom. So the figure has two pairs of hands. We get these wide open clawing hands over here and then we get the fisted hands and then we get two interchangeable heads. As much as I complained about not getting interchangeable hands with the Spider-Gwen, I'm just happy to see this becoming more and more of a regular thing. So here's big head number one. This is the head that the figure shows up in when you take it out of package. Nice sculpt right over there on the teeth. I think that looks really nice. Little pointy little needly teeth. And you get that cream color right over there painted nicely with the pink behind it. I think the eyes came out looking okay. You can see it gets just a little hairy around here but really I think we're getting a good amount of white paint over there. I do think it's worth mentioning that it does take a little bit of might swapping these heads. And then you're just looking at the second head sculpt which I like so much more, especially because it's got this Gene Simmons tongue with the green goop all over it. Oh man, that is just too awesome. Liking the teeth over there too. You know, they're pointy enough for, you know, major retailer figure. They're not going to be super pointy like an import figure or anything like that. I think the white paint came out really good on these eyes too. It does get a little tiny, tiny bit hairy right in the middle, but I think that's being pretty nitpicky. The amount of white paint that we get on these eyes are really nice looking. I really like it a lot. And looking at the rest of the figure, it looks really good. I think the white deco came out really well. I'm liking it. I mean, I can't really complain about it. I have a tiny little thing right out there, so I could complain about it. There you go. I'm complaining. But really, I'm not that much. I'm really happy with this overall. Then you can see how it just wraps around. Yep. Yeah, looks pretty good. And the cool thing about using this Hyperion body mold is that you have those ports right there which were originally meant for a cape, but now you could use them as display stand ports. So you have your original Toy Biz stand right over here. And just plug that right into this bottom one so it stays there kind of loosely. You also have an SH Figure Arts stand with the clip taken off. That fits into the top port right over there, so that works out well. Then you also have my beloved Mafex stand which fits into the bottom one over there. And then you could also use this bottom port right here for the Agent Venom tendrils, which works very well. So I think that looks pretty sweet. I like that. Then you can see that they did paint all the way through so they weren't skimpy with the paint. And same thing with this end over here, so I really like that. I would have appreciated some kind of navy blue shadowing effect on this figure. I think that would have really been cool, but still, you know, the black is pretty solid. Can't go wrong with it. The figure does have peg holes at the bottom of its feet. Out of an act of desperation to see what head size would fit this body a little bit better, I took one of these heads from the Madness Marvel Select Venom, and just tilting this peg back over here and resting the head right up there. I mean, you can't get it. You need some glue or something like that, but you can see that's not a bad fit. I think that's the right head size that we need with this figure. Now, the articulation is to be expected. Nothing really new here. Both head sculpts can move all the way up, which is great to have on a Venom figure. They move all the way down. You get side to side rotation, you get shoulders that move outward, forward, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. The wrists do pop off fairly easily on this one, but you can rotate them side to side. They hinge up and down. You get the great ab crunch that moves forward 
and back. You get the waist swivel, hips move out that much. He can kick forward, can kick back, not much at all. Upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees, calf rotation, angles move down, up, and ankle pivot. I like the height of this figure. Venom is standing just a little over seven inches tall. And for your Eddie Brock comparison, here he is next to the Marvel Legends Anti-Venom and the Marvel Legends Toxin. Eddie, Eddie, Eddie. Then here's Marvel Legends Venom compared to the Amazing Spider-Man Classics Venom from Toy Biz, and we have the Marvel Select Venom over here. And at this point in time, I'm going to say I still like both of these figures over this new Marvel Legends figure. This guy over here still being my absolute favorite Venom figure. Then to compare this Eddie Brock Venom to some other Venoms, we have the Mac Gargan Venom, and we have Flash Thompson Venom, and then we have the Otto Octavius Superior Venom. Venom We are the we are we are the we are the Then here's Venom compared to our new Marvel Legends Carnage and the Pizza Spider-Man, and having all three of these together just fits in great. And then here's Venom next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. <laughs> Not into dudes. Sorry. Not into I said I'm not into dudes! So I think this is a good Venom figure, it's just not my favorite Venom figure that's out there. I think Hasbro did a good job on this piece overall, and I have to say I'm very pleased having this guy set up with my Pizza Spider-Man and my current Marvel Legends Venom figure. So having all three of those together is just awesome. I hope you guys liked my review. If you did, please hit the like button. Click any of these boxes over here if you want more shart in your face. If you want to support this YouTube channel, please check out the Patreon account. If you want to see updates on the channel, go ahead and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And I took a ton of pictures of this guy. So photos will be up soon at MarvelousNews.com and ShardmasPrime.net. I'll catch you guys later. Peace! That's crispy. Yeah, cow! Damn. Okay, I just peeled off a bunch of skin right there. Damn.